Although the Army won't be participating in the standoff battle, the Air Force is renowned for its missiles. 186-mile range missile systems have also been developed by the Army. An excellent system is a mobile artillery rocket system. Hellfire missiles are nothing new to you. Own long-range drone owned by the Army. While the Army tactical weapon system may effectively dominate a deep conflict, you have likely witnessed Hydra rockets being fired from the Apache assault chopper. With that being said, in this episode, let's review the five deadliest weapons in the U.S. Army. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Future Warplanes, where we tell you about military fighter jets, military drones, military planes from the currently famous in the air to the most advanced around the world and in addition for latest episodes, we will be covering all military defense news. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. America's military didn't become the dominant force it is now overnight. It took decades to build. Despite not being the largest military on Earth, the U.S. has by far the best personnel and equipment. The most powerful military force the world has ever seen is the U.S. It may be argued that America has had a level of supremacy over competitor nations that is unmatched in history since the end of the Cold War. Neither Rome nor the British Empire had such a level of advantage. Although the American military isn't the biggest on the planet, it is by far the best trained and best equipped, putting rivals like Russia and China to shame. Is the American military as powerful as everyone claims? The short answer is that the U.S. does indeed have the most formidable military in history. There's simply no disputing it at this point, but shockingly, it's not just about the size of the American military. The world has never seen military technology as powerful and advanced as that of the U.S. How do the Americans maintain their position as having the most powerful army? Definitely not by workforce. China has that distinction, with 2.19 million active soldiers against the U.S. 1.4 million. The solution is in the advanced technology America have. 11 aircraft carriers and 91 Navy destroyers have been acquired by the Navy, according to Oceanside. Aircraft carriers are a crucial component of preserving combat effectiveness in a global conflict. Even though 11 might not seem like a lot, it is five times more than China has, and China lacks the resources to fill the space on theirs. On its aircraft carriers, the Navy is able to fit 85 to 110 fighters. The United States may therefore send out a carrier with fighters ready to launch at a moment's notice instead of needing to send out jets from military bases or even the mainland. The next aspect is the speed at which the U.S. creates and disseminates new weaponry, such as the impending Smart Bullets, David Sling, and possible exosuits like the Talos Project. And these are the only details that we are consciously aware of. It's probable that top-secret initiatives are currently in development and will continue to be kept under wraps even after they are put into service. The sheer number of military advancements during the last 81 years would be difficult to even begin to cover. The elite training their special forces receive is last. The training component cannot be discounted, despite the fact that this is losing importance as warfare shifts to drones and proxy wars. Only the strongest and most skillful can succeed. It might be incredibly difficult and break a person. Their special forces are responsible for removing dangers to national security like Osama bin Laden and are excellent in battle tactics, teamwork, and minimizing collateral damage. Due to its financial power, extensive array of combat units and specialized special forces, the U.S. has always been and will continue to be the world's most powerful military force. And here are the most deadliest missiles of America. M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, used by the Army, delivers precision hits day or night and in any condition. A medium tactical vehicle supports the launch system. It belongs to a field artillery brigade along with the launcher it uses. A C-130 is capable of transporting the full system. The launcher may shoot a single Army Tactical Mission System missile or the entire family of multiple launch rocket systems of weapons. At targets more than 43 miles away, HIMARS can fire. Unquestionably supportive of the infantry is HIMARS. When the adversary is danger close, which is roughly 200 meters away, soldiers can call it in. Future long-range precision strike missiles will be launched by HIMARS. It will be a precision strike guided missile that is extremely lethal. MQ-1C Grey Eagle Drone The Army desired a drone of its own with which to launch Hellfire missiles for targeted killing. In the MQ-1C Grey Eagle unmanned aircraft system, it received what it wanted. The Predator used by the Army has been upgraded significantly with this drone. 
With a 29,000-foot ceiling, the Gray Eagle can fly for 25 hours. The sensor with a laser designation is part of the payload and it is electro-optical infrared. Along with four Hellfire missiles, it is equipped with a synthetic aperture radar. A variety of missions are possible for the Gray Eagle. It has intelligence gathering, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. Additionally, the Gray Eagle protects convoys and provides close air support while spotting and neutralizing IEDs. The Gray Eagle may be remotely piloted from up to 70 miles distant by the crew of an Apache assault chopper. Hydra 70 Rocket System Unguided 70mm air-to-ground rockets are called Hydra 70s. Different warheads are used by the Hydras. Anti-personnel, anti-material, fire suppression against the enemy and illumination are all possible uses for them. Although Hydra's accuracy is worse than that of Hellfire missiles, they do have more advanced guidance systems. A laser-guided option for the Hydra 70 is provided by the new Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System. Depending on the type of warhead, Hydras can travel at a speed of 2300 feet per second and weigh up to 25 pounds. UH-60 Blackhawks, AH-6 Attack Littlebirds and AH-64 Apaches all have Hydras on board. AGM-114 Hellfire Missiles One intriguing missile is the Hellfire II. Initially, it was an air-to-ground missile called a Tank Plinker that was mounted to an Apache attack helicopter and used during Operation Desert Storm. When the Predator and Reaper drones used it in the War on Terror, it then garnered even more notoriety. Laser-guided Hellfire IIs are used. Laser energy that hits the target and bounces back serves as their guidance. The Longbow Hellfire is a fire-and-forget type that uses radar guidance and doesn't require any additional launcher guidance. Hellfires are just over 5 feet long, weigh 104 pounds, and have a 20-pound warhead. Warheads come in both anti-tank and anti-personnel varieties. Some warheads have the ability to demolish bunkers or buildings. Around 1,000 miles per hour is the Hellfire II's top speed. Approximately 7 miles is the maximum range. Army Tactical Missile Systems Searching for a missile with a range that can outdistance artillery fire and other Army rockets and missiles? Army Tactical Missile System is the only thing you need. This ground-to-ground -ground missile can obliterate bunkers, structures, and other sizable targets. A multiple launch rocket system or the HIMARS mentioned above are both capable of launching the Army tactical missile. The Army employed the ATACMS in both of the conflicts in Iraq. The maximum range of the ATACMS is 186 miles. Inertial and GPS assistance are used for the missile guidance. A surface to air missile launcher, artillery, helicopter bases, and enemy command and control centers can all be destroyed with the help of the ATACMS in a deep fight. Which is the most lethal? The United States military as a whole, as well as many other nations, have embraced it because it has been effectively deployed so many times over the years. Because it has such a long range and can engage the adversary in deep attack, the Army Tactical Missile System would come in second. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts, and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.